IMS, Industrial Manufacturing Services, is uh, 25 years old in the fabrication business. Uh, we're located in Lancaster, South Carolina, and uh, we have approximately 80 employees. 10, 15 years ago, uh, welders were a lot easier to get, and labor was cheaper back then. Nowadays, uh, there's, there's a gap in skill level for welders, so they're harder to acquire nowadays. So we always knew automation was going to be the way. At the time, I was pretty skeptical about cobots and hyrobotics because I, I've always purchased more traditional robots. Before we had the cobots, we had we actually have four standard traditional robotic cells. We have three people who program our robots, uh, traditional and cobots. Um, but with the cobots, we've actually had welders come and, and run the cobot, and they've been able to learn to program it in half an hour. It, it didn't take very long. The cobots have allowed us to take non-welders and put them in place and let them just operate the machine. They don't have to know how to program well. They don't have to know much as far as technical other than knowing welds. But it's easy enough to get a guy to come in off the street, teach him a little bit, and he can run the machine no problem. You don't need programming knowledge. You don't need a week's long school flying off somewhere else. You can literally pick up your phone and the app's fairly intuitive. You can insert points, program. As long as you know rudimentary understanding of, of welding and knowing angles and, and how the weld is supposed to come out, it doesn't take much to program a cobalt welder. And as far as programming, programming would probably take, I would say, at least an hour doing it manually and on one uh, station on the Cobots took me four minutes and 19 seconds. It was much easier, um, much more user friendly. A lot of robots now have to take user frames, tool frames, stuff like that. Um, uh, the Cobots don't have that so you can go straight in. Uh, another thing I like about the Cobots is um, if you have several different uh, machines you can transfer one program to the other with just a simple copy and a paste and not have to rewrite things. We have a lot of different tasks as far as robot guys around here is fixtures and uh, not only programming the robots. I could be in a weld bay helping a guy out and a robot operator could come up and say, hey man, I had a problem. It's just as simple as pulling my cell phone out, uh, seeing where the problem occurred. And as frequent as we run these jobs, you about know how you program the job and what sequence is in. So you can about fix the, the problem on the fly, you know, even if I'm across the shop on the other side. So that's what I really like about that. We actually were looking into cycle times based off of what we run on our traditional robots and then see how the cobots, the hyperbotic cobot welders compare. And really there's not a big difference. You're talking maybe a 10% difference in times overall. Simple means I can program a cobot in five to ten minutes. Whereas traditional programming you could be hour, two hours, and even on the competition, it was not five to ten minutes. It would it would probably be closer to what a traditional programming setup would be. We've had a really good experience with Hyrobotics as far as support goes. Uh, they have in-app support, which is really responsive. You get answers pretty quick, and then with technical support outside of the app and response times, like they've been, they've been there to help us. When I first started with this project, in the beginning, I wasn't too sure how the Cobots would work out for us. Um, but the experience with the higher robotics team and these welders, I wouldn't be on the fence. After after the time I've had, like it's helped us in production so much that I, I couldn't believe that I had any questions to begin with.